Hello everyone, welcome to my sister wives official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives Season 18 Episode 2 proved to be just as emotional as the season premiere, answering some lingering questions about how the Brown family has been behaving to each other for over a year. With the Brown family closing in on the Thanksgiving holiday, the tension was high as the broader group wasn't spending the day together for a second year in a row. As the family did their best to celebrate three distinct Thanksgivings while keeping each other in mind, the Brown family was breaking even worse. Cody, Robin, Janelle, and Mary were all feeling Christine's absence stronger than ever and discovering new holes in the foundation. With Sister Wives Season 18 showing Christine making the choice to keep out of the conflict, Cody's wrath about her actions over Thanksgiving was obvious throughout the episode. The holiday was stressful, since the Brown family youngsters were the ones who felt the shift the most. After Thanksgiving, the family all felt the repercussions of how much their family has changed in the last year, with each wife musing on how difficult and stressful things have become. Cody was shown spending some time with his and Robin's daughter as the family mused on what their future will look like. Cody and Christine finished their terse meeting. Although Cody and Christine were shown meeting for a difficult meal during Sister Wives Season 18 Episode 1, their meeting concluded up in the beginning of Episode 2 with a few additional insights about their relationship. Cody, who's still feeling the sting and betrayal of Christine's leaving, has definitely reached a breaking point in the relationship. Christine had been striving to be nice, but when Cody met her with very little effort and a plenty of fury, it was evident she wasn't looking to be Cody's punching bag. Things were tight between the exes as Cody sought to work out his thoughts. Thanksgiving split the Brown family further. After meeting with Christine and discovering his anger wasn't lessening, Cody focused his concentration on the Brown family's Thanksgiving festivities, which weren't something he was enthusiastic for. Christine was remaining in Salt Lake City to have dinner with her daughter and son-in-law, Aspen and Mitch Thompson, and Janelle chose to fly down to North Carolina for the holiday and spend it with her children, who would also be there. Cody's split connection with Janelle's children has been ongoing since early on in the COVID-19 pandemic, but has reached new heights on Sister Wives Season 18. Cody was irritated knowing that just Robin and Mary would be at their usual family meal, and dissatisfied at the status of his relationship with his kids. In interview portions, Robin mentioned that she was heartbroken for her children, who thought that the rest of the family hadn't felt they were worthy enough to chose to spend their Christmas with. While none of the Sister Wives cast members were delighted about their Christmas, not being an elaborate family affair, some were able to embrace the adjustment while others weren't. Cody feels Robin's arrival didn't cause the rift in the family. As the Sister Wives group were chatting through their sentiments surrounding their new normal during the explanation of their Thanksgiving holidays, Cody admitted that he understands some of the criticism levied against his family. Many feel that the transformation in the Brown family began when Robin entered their multiple marriage and presume that Mary, Janelle, and Christine feel the same. After living as a poly family for nearly 20 years, bringing Robin into the mix was a transition for the family and the children who were extremely used to their situation. Opening up the family to another woman and new kids, all who were clamoring for Cody's limited time, made things tough, but ultimately isn't what he feels led the family to disintegrate. Instead, the father felt that the family putting themselves up to living openly was the downfall. While he may not exactly mean sister wives was their downfall, but instead opening up to their community about being in a multiple marriage, seeing Cody try to blame his family difficulties on society pressure was interesting. There were various factors at play when things went sour, but it's more likely that the tides flipped owing to Robin than anything else. Pardon Brown shared some of the kids have chosen their mothers over Cody. After the Thanksgiving festivities, Christine's son Peyton Brown lingered around her home in Salt Lake City to spend some time with his mom. Christine noted that despite she doesn't get to see him as often as she'd like, the relationship she has with her only son is remarkable. The two were spotted making tapioca pudding together and discussing about how things were going with Peyton and the rest of the siblings' ties with Cody. Peyton was clear-headed when discussing his feelings on his father and talked with a confidence that looked authoritative, like he was able to genuinely comprehend his emotions surrounding it all. 
While Peyton noted that Cody had been involved in their lives when they were younger, he realized that having so many brothers and living in a family that embraced plural marriage meant he wouldn't get as much attention from his dad. That was tough to cope with, but Peyton revealed that he didn't feel much of an issue with Cody until things started to get bad between Cody and Christine. Peyton noted that knowing the way Cody has chosen to speak about his mother in the past has led him to support his mom over Cody, which is what some of his siblings and Janelle's children have done as well. Robin cried over her family feeling like outsiders. Although Robin had Cody and Mary at her Thanksgiving dinner, she was still feeling unmoored by the fact that Janelle and Christine chose not to attend. She took their absence much more personally than seemed necessary, but ultimately related it back to her children. Robin's children came into her marriage with Cody, knowing that they were outsiders, as they were from Robin's prior marriage to David Jessup. Though the Browns were tolerant of Robin and her kids, there was still a distinction for a time on who was Cody's biological child and who wasn't, as much as the family attempted to resist it. Robin emotionally explained in an interview that her children felt sad being left out. After many of the Brown children began talking about a Christmas gift exchange amongst the siblings, Robin tried to intercede and set up a video call between all the kids. When there was criticism about not being able to arrange something that would work for all 18 of the Brown children, Robin took it personally. She shared that her children were questioning why the rest of the family didn't care about them, and sadly claimed she told them they couldn't take it personally, even though it was hard not to feel it was all personal. Christine called out Robin for never living plural marriage. Christine made a point to bring up Robin's actions, albeit she nearly didn't articulate her problems surrounding her former sister-wife. As Christine was attempting to make sense of what occurred in the past and how it's influenced her future, she revealed that she doesn't feel like Robin's ever genuinely lived in plural marriage before. Though she joined the Brown family with Cody already married to three wives, Christine feels Robin was valued in a way that plural marriage doesn't actually allow for. While Robin has always been an advocate for her form of plural marriage, Christine isn't convinced she's ever experienced it at all. Christine added that when Cody met Robin, he made it obvious that he would be prioritizing their marriage. Cody formally divorced Mary for Robin, took on the duty of being the adoptive father to her children, and pushed his other wives away to be closer to Robin. After giving Robin advantages he never gave to his other wives and showing favoritism, Christine explained that Robin experienced a very different time with Kobe than any of his other wives had, leading her to believe that Robin's understanding of plural marriage has always been very different from what it actually is. Cody took his daughter Aurora Brown to get her ears pierced amidst drama. In continue with bringing out the contradictions in his marriages, Cody was shown escorting his daughter Aurora Brown to get her ears pierced. While this may seem like a very routine occurrence, Evidently, there have been some serious regulations surrounding ear piercing in the Brown family. After adhering by some strong religious views, the Browns had determined that their girls wouldn't have pierced ears, as Cody had asked both Janelle and Christine to remove their ear piercings when they got married. Both who were immersed in their religion at the moment obliged. When Cody met Robin, she had pierced ears, and he didn't ask her to remove them. The family altered their rule and said daughters could get their ears pierced at 18, after they achieved adulthood. Further, Robin had a memory about getting her ears pierced with her father, who took her when she was little. Cody decided to repeat it for Aurora, expressing what a precious moment it was for him to have with her, while simultaneously sharing he didn't know when his other children had gotten their ears pierced, if they had at all. The scene demonstrated Cody's apparent partiality of Robin and her children, albeit he was blissfully naive about it. Christine talked to Janelle about the future of her marriage. After the holiday turmoil began to quiet down, Christine spent some of her time touring Flagstaff with Janelle. The couple both acknowledged that they've gotten a lot closer over the years, and Christine was eager to stress how much she enjoys her connection with Janelle. As they put up a Christmas tree in Janelle's apartment, Christine asked Janelle how she was feeling about the future of the family, or her relationship with Cody. Janelle was quick to express that she didn't realize what was to come. In interview parts, Janelle spoke openly about how much things have changed between herself and Cody in recent years. Especially after Cody's severe reaction to COVID-19 
and his disagreement with Janelle's children about their view on protocol, Cody's been harder on Janelle than ever, with him trying to have her arrange uncomfortable conversations between himself and their children, while Janelle wants Cody to take initiative and reach out to his kids on his own, Janelle informed Pristine she wasn't sure where things would be next year. It was scary for Janelle, but something she would be able to face with sufficient guidance. Janelle feels Cody and Robin are pushing the Brown family apart. As Sister Wives season 18 episode 2 came to a close, Janelle spoke openly in an interview about what she feels is building a breach between the Browns. While things have been tough for everyone after Christine's departure, Janelle noted that it feels like Cody and Robin are intentionally trying to push the family away from each other. Instead of being friendly or flexible about things, Cody and Robin's hardline decisions make it hard for anybody else to have a point of view. Janelle stated that by making it look like everyone is isolating them, they've secluded themselves and are making it more difficult for anyone else to be around them. For Janelle, who simply wants to have her family together, things have been rough as Cody is attempting to navigate his relationships. While the Brown family continues to splinter, it looks like every side of the sister-wives relationship has started pointing the finger at one other for where the stress is coming from. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.